Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Leo, this is your mid-month check-in, so mid to end of July 2021. Let's see what's going on for you guys. I'm going to pull some cards for um, your current energy, energy, the person, people, situations surrounding you, um, overall outcome of those situations for the rest of the month. We're going to um, pull some clarifying cards, um, get some other cards right at the end for any other, you know, advice, positive affirmations, any other messages for my amazing Leo viewers. It is, of course, a general reading, so don't forget um, to check out your other placements if it doesn't resonate, but also, um, you know, if you do enjoy the reading, it does resonate. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Helps my channel grow. Ultimately, if it grows, I'm going to spend more time on it and do more of these readings for you guys. So, I really do appreciate all the, all the support. It's amazing. Um, let's see what else we've got for my beautiful... Leo's what's going on is of course your birth month Leo and I'm seeing a big big turnaround of events which is great it's something you're working very hard towards and I think it's going to be successful Let's see what else but we will pull some clarifying cards it's almost like um, it's almost like you guys are really ready to um, move forward on something. You're ready to make the commitment to something. We've got chariot energy here, um, which is cancer. We've got um, Taurus energy there with the Hierophant. Some of you are really just moving forward on something. You're ready to commit to something. This is interesting. This is interesting. Um, something has really got you, your eyes are on the prize. You want success. You can see it. You can feel it. You can taste it. You know you've got more you know, work to put in, but you're willing to do that. You're not afraid of doing that. You're not afraid at all. You're, you're ready to commit. Okay, this is, um, yeah, this is super interesting. There's some really, really um, crazy good opportunity. You don't want to miss out on it. You don't want to miss out on it. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. So we've got that energy of things really, really turn, turning around. You feel like luck is on, you, on your side. You feel like destiny is on your side. There is this Three of Swords. I feel like you're willing to work on moving past um, past heartbreak. You're willing to put the work in, put the effort in to move beyond whatever is causing you heartbreak. It's almost like you're in such a positive mindset at the moment. Something has changed. Something has changed big time. Um, I will pull more clarifying cards, but something in your life has changed and it's really helped you improve your mindset dramatically because you're no longer focused on anything stressful, negative, heartbreaking. You're not, you're not seeing that anymore. You're just like, right, that situation is done. It's time for me to work on myself, work on my career, work on, you know, my relationship, whatever the case may be. It's time to work on it, work hard on it and get the results that I need and deserve. There's no time to dwell on the past. There's no time to focus on the negative anymore. Things are looking up, but I feel like there has been some kind of change of fortune to help that along. I'm not saying you haven't worked hard for it. You have. But there's some kind of a change in fortune that has helped you move past this upsetting situation and make the decision to work on um, what you need to and focus on the positive. And it's going to bring um, new opportunities, more luck into your life. We've got the Four of Swords here. And Capricorn energy with the devil. So we've got air energy. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got Capricorn energy here with the devil. But there, there is definitely that need for taking a little bit of time out, healing. Make sure you don't um, burn yourself out. So something has got you really excited. Something has got you wanting to move on and charge forward towards something. Just make sure that you don't get burnt out. Take the appropriate time out when you need to. Sometimes... Um, Something can, some things can get a little bit addictive, whether this is a 
relationship, whether this is with your career, making money, saving money, something can get a little bit too addictive and you're a bit too focused on it. So just make sure that you take that appropriate um, time out when you need to. Um, there's a need for that. Don't don't burn yourself out. We've got the magician energy here, um, Gemini Virgo. I think this is, yeah, this is a lot of manifestation energy. I'm seeing, um, wow. I am seeing blessings coming in for sure. There's Pisces energy here too. I'm seeing blessings here because maybe you're somehow, some of you are able to reunite with a lot of people. Like there's a lot of people now around you where there were not before. So maybe I don't know where you guys are living, but maybe there were certain restrictions on, you know, who you can see. And you didn't have contact with people, some people, and that was really, really difficult. And now that's improving and it's just making you feel so much better. And maybe something about your living situation has improved as well. Or just the people that you have day-to-day -day contact with, whether that's who you live with or through work, that has improved and it's making you feel so much better. You're feeling like yourself again. You're feeling really positive. And there's a very, very strong um, romantic connection here too that um, again there's some kind of turning point in that situation whether this is an existing connection where there was some kind of problems arguments maybe even a breakup it's like you've decided to move on from that and make things better or this could be a new connection coming in that has got you very excited and ready to sort of charge forward I don't know, but it's looking good. Just don't get too, um, don't get too excited where you don't have any breaks, if that makes sense. Like take some time out if you need it to just rest, recuperate, recharge. Um, yeah, something I am seeing like you had to guard your heart a little bit in the past. So there definitely was some kind of situation that led to a little bit of heartbreak and disappointment there. But that's that's completely improved now. You've healed from that um, and you've come to a point where you're feeling like there are a lot more blessings in your life. But again, take that time out when you need to. Don't just burn yourself out with all that work. I feel like some of you may have recently discovered some information that's going to help you or um, discovered something online, whether it be um, communication with someone, increasing your network, um, getting into a new course of study, improving your skills, something like that. Something is going to um, really help you um, move forward, gain the new information that you need. But this is all very, very positive changes. And finally, something may have made you feel a little bit stuck in the past where you had to make a decision to either stick with um, the old or move on to something new. And you made that decision, I feel, to move on to something new. And I'm seeing actually lots of options around you. So don't feel like you don't have enough options because you do. There's a lot of opportunities around you. I'm seeing a lot more females around you as well. Like maybe again, it has something to do with a change in work environment or a change in home environment. I'm seeing a lot more females um, around you and some very interesting um personalities around you as well but I think you're loving it I think you're thriving on the attention I feel like they're lavishing you with attention almost because it's just it's just inspiring you or making you more enthusiastic about like your day-to-day -day life it's it's giving you a renewed energy to go about your day-to-day -day life based on these other people around you so I am seeing yeah some kind of a reunion with people or more people around who are giving you very, very positive kind of energy. Ten of Cups, you know. It's almost feeling like this ultimate happiness is within reach now. Something has, has changed. Something has changed. Again, there was that sense of grief and loss in the past, but something has changed. The fortunes have turned around. But we do have this powerful manifestation energy. So it's definitely time to um, focus and think about what you want, which I feel like you are doing there with that Eight of Pentacles. It's time to focus and think about what you want. But don't get too, um, you know, take, take breaks as well. 
the take 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 time out when you need to. I just saw that um, devil energy flip around again. So when something flips around twice or comes out twice in a reading, um, it's yeah just a little bit of a strong message to be careful about what it is um, that you're focusing on. Make sure it doesn't become like an addiction, so to speak. But we've got the sun. So the sun really lights up any reading that it comes out in it gives a lot of happiness to any reading so ultimately despite this little you know obsession and just be careful about getting too obsessed about something and take the time out when you need to despite um or in spite of that message in general it's looking very very positive positive changes are coming in and that is ultimately your card leo the sun let's see if we can get um this is a good month for you it is your birth month i think feel like you're you will be getting a lot of attention and you're lavishing in it and it's making you it's giving you a lot more motivation actually you're feeling like yourself again was there is was there some situation that was kind of tying you down whether it be a relationship a living situation people that you work with were people around you sort of um killing your um your spark or like killing your enthusiasm i don't know i think but i think that's changed something about the the situation and the people around you has improved and you're moving towards that because you've realized that um it's improving things yeah you had to move on from something we've got the magician energy again so big big time for manifestation you've got all the skills and all the attributes you need in order to manifest what you want in your life that's a strong strong message so um, you know, write a list of goals, write a list of things you want to achieve, create a vision board, whatever works for you. Um, you're going to be able to um, manifest it. You're going to be able to be open to those opportunities coming in because you're feeling very positive. You're feeling um, very much like yourself again. So you're attracting a lot of people around you and a lot of new opportunities around you. Um, eight of water, eight of swords. Um, oh, sorry, eight of cups. Eight of Cups. So yeah, there was definitely a situation you had to move on from. Something was really um, draining you emotionally, big time. Um, it took a lot of your a lot of your strength. Um, it's you had to really hold back. Maybe there was something you you couldn't say to someone, or you know, because you had to be respectful or something like that. Could have been with work. Could have been a family member. Um, it was really driving you insane. Like you had to really use a lot of inner strength in this situation to not like explode. We can see the lion like getting ready to roar in this um, image. You really had to, and that's you, <laughs> that's you, Leo. So you really had to um, bite your tongue in a situation, but I feel like you don't need to anymore. Maybe the people around you now or the situation around you now is one in which you can really feel like you can be yourself and you're appreciated for who you are. But you had to move on from something. You had to leave something behind in order to achieve that for sure. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles there again. So keep working at it. You're doing well. We've got the King of Fire at the bottom of the deck. That is your energy. Um, I'm seeing, I love um, the King of Fire, King of Wands in this card because this beautiful like love emanating. I really see this as such a strong Leo card because that's what Leos love to do. Like when you're feeling at your best and you're... Um, you know, being 100% yourselves, you're really able to emanate this amazing, um, loving glow. Um, and what that means is that you really touch the hearts of people around you and you enjoy doing that and they enjoy being in your company. So I feel like you're in a situation now where you can truly be yourself. I'm really loving um, this reading for you guys, Leo. I'm loving how this turned out because I feel like there was something really holding you back and you're not holding back anymore. You're being yourself again. You're feeling good again. You don't have to hold back. You've moved on from something disappointing. You're focusing solely on the positive. Something was dragging you down and making you a bit negative. But I'm seeing um, that completely go by the end of the month. So I'm really loving that for you guys. If you guys enjoyed that reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you again for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video.